Hey guys, what's up? Um, I am super excited today to do a little bit of a gear uh, demo review for you guys, first reaction. So I have not played through these yet, but um, I just raced back from the gym. I cut my workout short just because I was so excited about this. But uh, these came in the mail today. Um, two pedals from Mythos Pedals, and I'll show you what they are. Um, so I've not played through them. This will be a totally genuine reaction to these pedals. I've been doing a lot of research into um, Octave Fuzz pedals, and this one, the Argo, uh, came to my attention via several players. Um, there's obviously no um, denying my love affair with Joey Landreth, <laughs> and... Uh, you know, he played on my single, and I, I talked to him a lot about pedals and gear and stuff, and he's been pimping this hard, and uh, I really wanted to get it and try it out. I don't have any octave fuzz pedals. It's a very specific effect, so I have never bought one. Um, so I got this guy, and then I'm also looking at getting the um, King Tone Jesse Davey Octoland at some point in the next year. But uh, super stoked about this, so we're going to take this guy for a test drive. And um, the other thing is... A couple years ago, I sold my, my Klon Centaur, and um, I don't regret it at all, because I sold it and I got my favorite number one axe, which is my Sir Strat, and that thing will be with me till the day I'm, I'm dead and in the ground. But um, I wanted to get something to replace it, and I had a Wampler Tumnus for a while, which I loved, and I sold to my buddy, because uh, I just wasn't using it. But I kind of missed having something that was a little bit transparent. Um, lack of a better term. I know that that word is kind of funny in the guitar world, but anyway, I just wanted a, a, a boost, basically a, a really good boost for my board. So I got the Mjolnir. And not only, uh, you know, do I love the sound of this pedal from the demos, but if you know me personally, I'm a huge comic book nerd. So Thor, Mjolnir, all that good stuff. So it's a win-win for me. So guys, what we're going to do, I'm going to go plug these into the board and you're not gonna see my ugly mug. I'm just gonna have it on the pedals and I'm gonna tweak it and play through it and just give you my, uh, my first reaction. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we're rolling. I have, honestly, have not turned these on at all. Um, I'm playing my Sir Strat. It's an HSS Strat, S-type, I should say. And I'm um, going through my Synaptic amp, which is a class A 18 water. Um, I'll put pictures of, of both the, uh, the instruments, the amp and the guitar, but this is the clean tone. I usually have it set up right on that edge of breakup, kind of that Wind Cries Mary thing. Alright, so let's do this. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to turn it on. Hold on. So let me back the gain down a little bit. Thank you. 
first reaction is, first of all, it has way more gain than I thought, which is good, because I can back it way off, I can use it as a boost. Um, this thing is chock full of gain, man. I have that all the way down. I didn't touch the tone. I think the tone sounds great where it is, but let's back that down. Let's make it all the way muddy. See how muddy it gets. Still sounds awesome. <laughs> So I feel like you're into that. It's totally doable. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. down a little bit it's really loud too it's great um looking for something to cut over the band as a boost holy shiznel all right here's the gain up output down a little bit <laughs> sustain man i can't wait to dig into this more this is freaking awesome um so i mean I, i'm probably going to use it as an overdrive and a boost um seems like here's the here's the amps break up right now <laughs> seems like a pretty killer overdrive meets boost option I mean I'm, I'm blown away man I, I mean I had some expectations and have really kind of liked what I've heard but I, I was going into it thinking you know I'm gonna be open-minded about it and not be uh, not be all marked out about watching gear demos and thinking it's gonna be perfect for me but it is gonna be great for me okay let's go into the Argo <laughs> uh, let's go into the Argo all right, so from what I've been told, obviously this is an octave fuzz pedal. So you can blend the fuzz in to your clean signal 
from what I understand. Uh, I know some people who are also using this as almost like a boost. So let's check this out. I'm gonna put everything at 12 o'clock right now. because I hear all these harmonics. huge fan of ring modulators um, and I love that about these octave fuzzes where you can get that ring modi thing going on when there's polyphony involved some dissonance Purchases. is um, very very happy with this let me I'm gonna bring this down more just like the, the fuzz itself
for fuzz pedal too, man. <sighs> Damn. All right. Bring this boost down a little bit. Let's clean this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring the fuzz down and bring the boost up. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Crank this, crank this up and this up and keep the fuzz down a little bit. We're getting choked out a little bit, um, which I did. <laughs> Sloppy playing there. I was trying to mess around like a broken, broken guitar, broken amp, but. Dude, this is going on for a while, and uh, I have a lot of exploring to do, but man, what what two great pedals. Well done, Zach. I mean, these things are going to be a mainstay on my board, man. So I have, basically right now, I've gotten more and more into fuzz, and um, so, you know, having Zach's pedal, and then having this guy in there, too, holy crap, man. What an arsenal of amazing tones. And, you know, between between those three, and I have a couple, like, other overdrives that I kind of swap in and out, but I can see this stain on there all the time just because it's so versatile in how I can use it. Same thing with this. There's just so many flavors on the fly. This is kind of like, I, I leave this at a very spitty uh, kind of fuzz, and it works killer with slides. So I'm going to have to do, you know, another quick uh you know kind of play through with this with slide but um man you guys if you're interested in in like these at all if you have any kind of on the fence i'm thinking about getting that don't don't sit on that fence too long get it because they're both killer killer pedals and you know if you're into Doyle bram hall this is based on his cob um fuzz and now i know why <laughs> why he has that and now i know why zach Put some time and energy into to figuring out a way to, to replicate it. And and they're really affordable too, guys. I mean, you know, you're seeing a lot of pedals. Like, Jesse's stuff's pretty expensive. Totally still worth it. These are very affordable pedals. Um, the tones that I was just getting out of that, I mean, I, I I hesitate to say this, but I mean, I feel like they're they're way, way more um, worth the price. Like, they could be, they could be, you know, this price and I'd still buy it because they're, it's just like, powerful powerful guitar tone guys so i'm getting gushy because i'm super happy and i'm gonna do more of these when i get new pedals because it's really genuine i really think that you know exploring these more i'm gonna have a lot of fun today so happy saturday guys sorry for the long video but check out mythos pedals mythos pedals uh mjolnir overdrive argo octave fuzz here's my thumbs up love it love it see ya